the tragedy is impacting their community. Governor Asa Hutchinson in Northwest Arkansas today announcing the location of a third state crime lab. State police and other local law enforcement agencies attending today's official announcement made at the new 25 acre location in Lowell. Now has given it the green light. Hutchinson allocated the money to complete the lab, the IT lab. The building will share space with the state police, Troop L, in its new headquarters. The governor says an additional lab will help law enforcement across the state. It will allow them to reduce that backlog in Little Rock, allow them to concentrate on medical examiner cases, and so it's efficient uh, utilization an allocation of our talent here in the state that will benefit the entire state. We're told the new facility is expected to begin operations next March. Focus will be on toxicology, which relieves pressure. Crime lab in Little Rock. Its director means they can devote more attention to the state's homicide cases. Care care for us with the Sherwood family, who is no stranger to this length. Yeah, Bob and Ashley, Paula Steinzik considers her family one of the lucky ones because it wasn't a lengthy process for them, which many can't say. The state solved her husband's murder in a day. She hopes the new crime lab allows other grieving families facing tougher cases to eventually tell a similar story. We're really always big into to pictures. Throughout 33 years of marriage. This is one of my favorite ones. Paula and Frank Steinzik built a home. This was our saying. Full of life laughter and love and that was the most important thing in our lives on february 11th 2015 I was standing in this doorway right behind me i was sitting on the couch the love was still there he walked over and he kissed me and he told me he loved me that was the last thing he said to me but the life and laughter taken away jeremy hobbs shot and killed frank in a motorcycle sale on craigslist gone wrong the person was taken into custody and, and um, all of the evidence was found there in his apartment. The Arkansas State Crime Lab analyzed it and case solved. And, and he is serving a 60-year sentence for murdering Frank. In the years following her husband's murder, Paula has met many families who are still searching for answers. The not knowing, I think that that would be one of the hardest things to have to deal with. She hopes the new crime lab in Northwest Arkansas will help the state answer those questions. To help solve some of these unsolved forgiving is still far away for paula but it'll be 2056 before he's up for parole i'll be 96 years old um if my children and my grandchildren need to be there and i'm not then they'll be there but she's living and laughing again this is actually frank and will never stop loving that's for sure but the rest of him sits right here and i get to see him every day the Little Rock Crime Lab is still the only location that can work homicides. It also does autopsies in other cases like suicides and drug overdoses. But Director Kermit Channel says unlike other states, there is no statutory requirement in Arkansas for a coroner, coroner to send them a body and then they do not have the statutory authority to refuse a body. Back to you. All right, Jess, thanks very much.